Hi, I'm astronaut Mike Massimino to tell you about a new contest from Lego Ideas. Hey guys, my name's Steve Giuliano and I was the winner of the NASA Lego Moon to Mars design competition. And uh, I needed to put this video together. Lots of people were saying, Steve, you've, you've got to tell us about what's happening, man. There's a lot of things going on. So here's my attempt to create a video. It's going to be a bunch of videos, actually, that I'm going to sync together at the end once I've finished the experience. So firstly, you should know um, why I went in the competition. Go join the mission on Lego Ideas to take us from the moon to Mars. I went in the competition to try and inspire my students uh, I'm a teacher and I teach technology and I help schools implement technology into their classrooms. What, what might we use a robot for in real life to help us in an, in, in an environment situation or maybe in a factory? Can you give me one example? Your mission today is to actually program the robot to pick up that can, move to the correct location on your table and drop it into the recycling bin. So for me, seeing students engage is really, really important. So I created this model out of 3D software called Studio 2 by BrickLink. And it's a free program. You can check it out. It's, it's amazing. Uh, I built the model and I was talking about some STEM implications. Those of you that aren't teachers, STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering and Maths. And so I thought it would be cool to talk about, you know, hydroponic plant systems and artificial gravity belts and, you know, the importance of radiation deflection when you're doing long-term space travels and all of these really important concepts for long-term space travel. So I made this model to then, um, you know, work with some of my students and show them how to build. And then after we finished making the 3D model, we could extract the model and put it into software that allows you to do it in virtual reality, augmented reality. Uh, mixed reality where you put the headsets on with the controllers. I was really blown away when they announced that hey I'm the grand prize winner and part of that they gave me every single space Lego set and they gave me the Saturn V uh, Lego rocket which is an incredible model. I'm going to do a stop motion video on that one and also the Moonlander uh, NASA Lego set um, all these incredible prizes um, and I thought that was it and I thought yeah fantastic I'm I'm happy, that, that's amazing, um, I feel great. Um, and then uh, NASA reached out and said they'd like to meet. Uh, what? Um, I just almost fell off my chair. I'm such a huge fan of everything to do with space exploration. And so <laughs> I said, when can, we, when can we meet? So Bianca, my wife and I, uh, got to fly all the way to Orlando and then we went to Cape Canaveral and uh, rocked up. Didn't know who we were going to meet, um, didn't know if there was an agenda, knew nothing other than we, we drove there and we paid to go into the Kennedy Space Center and um, they were actually launching the 2020 Corvette and so there was a massive media event on all the newspapers and um, radio stations and things were there and so there was a lot of people and the guy presenting his name was Theron Protz and he's the chief operating officer of the visitor complexes over there. Our goal here at the visitor complex is to tell the NASA story in the most compelling and immersive way and I went up and introduced myself. Um, I was almost embarrassed to do so. I didn't know him and um, my wife was pushing me, hey, go and meet him. So we, so I met him and said good day. And, um, and he said, oh, great, great to meet you. I'm gonna take you on a personal tour behind the scenes of all our space programs. Well, as a teacher, that was, uh, thank you. Yep, I'll take you up on that offer. So he took us behind the scenes and uh, Bianca was awesome. She filmed the whole thing on, a, on one of our 4K cameras there. So I've got that whole uh, recording of the tour and I'm gonna make a separate video for that. So keep an eye out for that one. When they try to turn a wrench like they do on Earth in, in that simulated space, they just spin around like this. Yeah, of course. Yeah, on the tour, we got to see um, some incredible things. They had Mars rover simulations. They had uh, vegetation rooms where there was robotics doing all the soil and, and watering the plants. Um, they had uh, robotics labs for cleaning solar panels. If they use too much energy, they basically uh, they lose hot showers or the movie doesn't play overnight because they drain the electrical in the half. So. And are they using the Mindstorm software? Yeah, yeah. It, it was it was a really special place. Um, I felt like I was um, 
you know, a kid in the candy store, to be honest with you. And so uh, just, just blown away by their hospitality. I got to meet um, a whole bunch of astronauts as well while we were there. Um, got to meet people that had worked on the ISS, uh, people that had worked on various satellites and things. Um, that was very special meeting them. So I was talking to the chief operating officer of the Kennedy Space Center, uh, Theron Protz, who's just an absolute champion. And he was the one that gave uh, Bianca and I a tour. And he asked, you know, when can we expect to, to see this model that you've created? I created it in uh, digitally, obviously. And uh, so my response to him was, oh, you know, I don't actually have a physical model. Um, so he, he said, look, we'd, we'd love it if you could actually build this model for us. Well, the Kennedy Space Center to me is one of the greatest places on the planet. Uh, I was, I almost fell over. I couldn't, I didn't know how to respond. And I said, yep, okay, well, let me contact Lego and um, we'll see if we can work something out. So I talked to the guys from Lego Ideas um, who were running the competition, um, Hassan and Jacob, great guys. And, uh, I, and they said, um, yeah, we're gonna sponsor your project and uh, we're gonna supply you with all the Lego pieces. What the heck? This is awesome. Okay, so now I get to build this uh, model that I created digitally for my students and I'm gonna build it for NASA and potentially put it in the visitor center. Um, what an honor. I, um, I can't tell you how excited I am about the whole thing and um, I, really look forward, I really look forward to showing you the finished product down the line and hopefully I can get it done soon and uh, I will be documenting the process and be documenting uh, the packages, the different Lego packages as they arrive so I can get this thing done, get this thing built and potentially put into the museum. We would like you to get your Legos together and use your creative imaginations to build a spaceship that could go from the moon all the way to Mars. What might that spaceship look like? What does it need to look like? Use your imaginations, come up with ideas and build them with your Lego sets.